All right, trans math class, we are going to look at the notes for section. This is 2.6. Okay, so we're just reviewing in the first skills maintenance part. Uh, it says write the unit fraction for each improper fraction, and then also we're going to write what the whole part would be. Unit fraction and whole. Okay, so if it has six fifths, then our unit fraction would be one fifth. The whole would be five fifths. It's all based on the bottom. Unit fraction one eighth. The whole would be eight eighths. So we've got a third on the bottom. Unit fraction one third. Three thirds for the whole. Four on the bottom. So one fourth in the whole would be four fourths. And we've got a 12 on the bottom. So one twelfth and 12 twelfths. All right. All right, so then there's some set models here. So remember, however many circles are in a box, that tells you what the denominator is. So since there's four in a box, I know that there's going to be, we're talking fourths, and then we just count the filled in circles. There's six of them that are filled in, so six fourths. In this next one, there's three that are in a box, so my denominator is three. How many are filled in? Three, six, seven are filled in. Okay. And then in this last box, there's a total of six, six circles in one box, and there's two of them filled in. So we're gonna have two six. All right, so we're gonna look at uh, finding magnitudes. Basically, we're adding and subtracting fractions. So sums and differences, that means adding and subtracting, and then finding the size of them, that's what a magnitude is. Okay, so make six fifths based on the whole. Well, on these problems, remember, um, if this is representing a whole and we're, we're looking at fifths, okay, they want us to make six fifths. This would represent five fifths. So let's do the best we can to break it into, into fifths. So if I had uh, something like this, here is about fifths, right? So one, two, three, four, five. I'd do one more. This would be six fifths, okay? All right, so here it says, um, we're just gonna practice adding and subtracting some, some fractions here. I'm not sure why they started us like this, but they're just basically saying, if you add things together, you're gonna get something bigger than what you started with, which seems obvious. So I'm just gonna give you the trick here. The bottom always stays the same, okay? One fourth and one fourth would be two fourths. If we add zero to something, we know we always get the same answer. And when we're subtracting, obviously we're gonna get a smaller number. So what we do is we take three minus one, and that's two, and then the bottom is gonna stay the same. That's gonna stay four. And if again, if we take away zero, we get the same thing we started with. So that would be three fourths. Okay, so to give a visual to this a little bit, so if we're adding three fourths plus another three fourths, here's kind of a visual of that. So they kind of said, well, if this is the whole, one fourth would be about this size. So if we've got three of them and then another three of them, how many total fourths do we have? Well, we've got three, four, five, six. It looks like there's a total of six fourths. And so I get, in this case, I get an improper fraction. But what you do, the kind of the, the algorithm or what you always kind of do to get the answer is you add the two top numbers together, three plus three, and you get six. But we're talking about fourths. That's, you know, that's what we're adding. We've got three of these fourths because that's one fourth, right? Three of them plus another three of them. We got six total fourths, so six fourths, and that's we don't change the bottom number. Leave that alone. Okay, subtraction works in a similar way. It's just that rather than you know, adding the top numbers, we're going to subtract them. So if we have if we have a total of seven thirds here, right? So this is one third of the whole, which is given in green. If I'm going to take away five of them, so taking them away, I could just maybe cross them out. Two, three, four. Five, what do I have left right here? I've got two fifths left, or sorry, two thirds. So my answer there, two thirds, okay? So just subtract those top numbers, leave the bottom numbers alone. So that's what the power concept tells us here. It says if, if the denominators of the fractions are the same, find the answer by adding or subtracting the numerators and using the same denominator, okay? So same denominator, that's important. Okay, so in example two, it says use arrows to show the solution on the number line, then write the answer on the number line. So two thirds is where we're starting. We're starting right here at two thirds, and we're adding one, another two thirds, right? 
So two thirds plus two thirds, remember we just add the tops, that's four thirds, so four thirds would be right here. And that makes sense, because this is one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, so that makes sense. Okay, and we're subtracting, right? Three thirds, we're starting here at three thirds, which is the same as one. But since we're subtracting, we'd be moving backwards two thirds, right? So we go, if we're showing it on the number line, we kind of show two arrows going back like that, right? So you'd go from backwards one, backwards two thirds. And so this one right here would be at one third then, right? Because we'd be taking three minus two. And so my answer would be one third. Okay, and if you count it out, this would be one third, two thirds, three thirds, and so on. So that makes sense that that one's at one third. All right, so they're kind of showing this here, like if we're adding one fourth plus two fourths, if we start at one fourth and you move two fourths over, you end up at three fourths. Right here, we're subtracting three fourths minus one fourth. We go back one like this. That would be two fourths. Three minus one is two, so two fourths. Two thirds plus two thirds, we're gonna jump two more spots. So that's gonna put us at four thirds. Three thirds minus two thirds, we go back two spots like this, puts us at one third. And here we're adding, so we start at one sixth and we add four six. One, two, three, four, and that puts us at this one, which is five sixth. Again, one plus four. Sixth. Okay, here it says use Cuisinier rods, but we'll just, I think we can use our, our pattern that we figured out here. Three plus three is six, leave the denominator the same, six fifths. Three minus one is two, leave the denominator the same, two over two. Seven minus two is five, so that's five eighths. Three plus four is seven, so seven sixths. Seven minus one is six, so that would be six fifths. Okay, so some word problems here. It says Devin used a block that's two-fourths inch tall and a block that's three-fourths inch tall to start his tower. How tall is this tower? So he stacked two-fourths inch plus three-fourths inch, right? So we're going to add those together to get the total height. Two-fourths plus three-fourths. Remember, we add the top numbers. Two plus three is five. So we would have five-fourths inch. Okay, that would be our answer for that one. Okay, Mika or Mika used two blocks that are each two fourths inch tall to start her tower. How tall is her tower? And then how much taller is Devin's uh, tower? So there's two parts to this one. So she used two blocks that are each two fourths. So we're going to go two fourths plus two fourths. And so Mika, her tower is four fourths. So that's the answer to the first question four fourths inch, right? How much taller is Devin's tower? Well, how much taller? That means we have to subtract. So we have to say 5 fourths minus 4 fourths is 1 fourth inch. So Devin's is 1 fourth inch taller than Mika's. Renee started with a block that's 5 fourths inches tall. Then she added one that's 3 fourths inches tall. How ta tall is her tower? How much taller is her tower than Devin's? Okay, so two parts again. So we're going to start by saying, okay, 5 fourths, and we're going to add to that 3 fourths. And so we get 8 fourths. That's how tall uh, Renee's tower is, 8 fourths inches. Okay. How much taller is hers than Devin's now? So we have to subtract. So 8 fourths. Devin's was 5 fourths, so we're going to subtract those, and we get 3 fourths. 3 fourths inch taller than Devin's. Okay. So we have first, there was two answers to that question, right? First, how tall is her tower? 8 fourths inches. How much taller is it than Devin's? Three fourths inch taller. So let's say when it's asking how much taller is something, you have to subtract those two different those two uh, heights. Deshaun was trying to decide between a block that was five thirds inches tall and a block that was two thirds inches tall. What's the difference? As a keyword, when you see difference, that means subtract. 
difference in those two heights. Okay, so 5 thirds minus 2 thirds. So when we subtract that, we would get 3 thirds inch. Okay, so difference means subtracting. All right, Janet made two towers, but she did not stack her blocks. She got confused. One tower was 7 eighths inch tall, the other one was 5 eighths inch tall. What's the difference in heights? Difference again, subtracting. So 7 eighths minus 5 eighths. Okay, anytime you see difference, that means subtract. So 2 eighths inches. 2 eighths inch or inches, I'll say inch. That would be your answer for that one. So again, difference, that's going to always mean subtract. All right. I think that is it for this one.